with Bumblebee's face painting. I just wanted to give a quick video rundown of my camp kitchen tables. As you can see, I have a three here, one brand new one here in the box that I just purchased this past weekend. I have my original table, the table I used in my first video, and then I have my current table. All three tables are, well, exciting to have. I love working on projects. And this was probably my first project I really got to experiment on a little bit. I have my ups and my downs. Unfortunately, the poor thing didn't quite make it after my last video. We had an accident um, in the car. So the table was leaning upwards and fell over um, when I was transporting it to a gig. So the framework that goes around the outside of the case the lid kind of sits in that framework, kind of a groove. Unfortunately, when it fell over, it came out of that groove and I can't get it back in. So we decided to retire it. This has been about a year ago, a little over a year. The video I did on this camp kitchen table was back in March of 2018. It's now May of 2019. It was only about two weeks after that video that this table unfortunately broke. It was very, very unfortunate. I was pretty upset. Luckily, for whatever reason, I had already purchased this used, which is the Coleman Cam Kitchen Table off of Facebook Marketplace. It was only $40. I thought, what a steal. I can use it as a secondary kit for body painting, maybe if I got into airbrush. So I decided to purchase this one. I have really enjoyed using this case. It's, it's been a great case, but honestly, compared between the two, I still really prefer the Bass Pro Shop, hence why it's finally been one year, just about, since I started using this, and I decided to go back to the Bass Pro Shop version. I did purchase this at the actual Bass Pro Shop store in Gainesville, where I purchased this one. The original one was purchased for $165, I believe is what it retails for. Um, this one, I believe the price has dropped over some time. It was only $144, so almost $20 savings, not too bad. I ended up making up the difference by buying some croc flip-flops for my son. So it didn't make too much of a difference. I still spent the same amount of money. With the Coleman version, this has been a fantastic table. I really enjoy using it, but its end of lifespan, I think, is coming quite quickly. Unfortunately, with this table and what I've seen other people complain about is this. This is the handle. As you can see on my original table and in my original video, this is a metal handle with kind of a rubber grip. Very comfortable to carry and loose. There's some give there. It's been a fantastic way to carry it. And even though it was only one handle, even there, there's kind of a separate two piece system. There's the actual table and the lid. This one is connected to the table portion. I thought this one may work better. Two handles, one on the lid, one on the table and you carry them both in unison together. But unfortunately, this one had already started to tear just a few months ago, and it's been about two weeks, and it finally ripped, snapped completely off. Unfortunately, the weight of this table, especially fully loaded like this, the bottom handle here, which I've always used these handles for my towels, this handle, unfortunately, can't carry all that weight on its own. It, too, is ripping and is going to be breaking quite soon probably before the end of the weekend. I have several gigs coming up Saturday and Sunday is currently Monday, so I may have enough time to retrofit the new case here um, to put everything in and get it working um, before the weekend. Let's keep our fingers crossed. Um, the purpose for me uploading this video and kind of sharing it and spreading it around is I really would like to work on this case with you guys. I would like to film different types of projects I'm going to be doing in this case, this new one. Um, I'd like to do an unboxing video coming up. I may even film that right here in unison and we'll just upload it up next. Um, but I see that my previous video on this camp kitchen table got quite a few views. I think it's over a thousand views. Plenty of comments from people that are just thrilled to see kind of a walkthrough and a really hands-on experience with the table. I really would like to go in more in depth and, and help as much as I can. I'm, I'm here to help. I, I, I enjoy solving problems. So I feel like it really helps if someone comes to me with an issue and they need help with their camp kitchen table. 
I want to be the expert on that at this point because I really do think it's one of the most versatile products on the market. It may be for cleaning dishes and cooking while you're camping, but it's been one of my, my best used tools for face painting in the 10 years I've been painting. Um, I started in 2009, it's 2019 folks, 10 years, that's a long time um, to be in this industry I think and unfortunately I don't think I ever quite made it to the craft and go status and felt like I needed to get one. I think this has been where I've enjoyed it most. As you can see my size, I'm, I'm a pretty big girl. I am close to 5'8", five, 5'9", five, possibly, and this table comes up at kind of the perfect height for me. Not quite low enough as a regular like banquet table, and not as tall as, say, the adjustable little four-foot folding tables that I've seen on the market as well and that I used previously. But it seems to be in that niche market where it's just perfect for my size. I like having a big table surface. I like being able to close it just like this. I have closed this lid before and just used it as a table for parties and different things in my own home or just around the house if I needed extra table space crafting in my office. So I really have enjoyed these tables and I really am looking forward to redoing this table up front here. Um, I'd love to unbox it with you guys and kind of show you all the ins and outs. If you guys are really interested in seeing something like that, I'd love for you to comment below. Um, I will leave a couple of links in the descriptions as to where you can purchase these tables at. If you're more interested in this Coleman, it is cheaper. I did purchase it used for $40, but that's a number someone pulled out of the air. I mean, this woman had purchased it for her yoga studio that she was going around and doing outdoor events with, and she was just using the table as a station. You can purchase it, I believe, retail. It, it retails for about $90 through Walmart, Target, it is Coleman, C-O-L-E-M-O-N, C-O-L-E-M-A-N, Coleman, sorry. Um, and this is Bass Pro Shops. The logo is right here, that's the brand name. I may have seen it once or twice under a different, you know, a different name, um, same manufacturer, um, but maybe a different camping company, like in Australia or the UK. But um, as far as I know, Bass Pro Shops version for the US is this version right here and it is what it is. If you have any questions, feel free to reach out and I look forward to working with you guys. Let me know if that's something you want to see. I may film it anyway, even if you don't want to see it and force y'all to watch it. Just kidding. I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. But um, thank you so much guys. You'll have a wonderful day. Thanks for watching. I'll see you soon. Bye.